Three cameramen. Ready to go. Everybody Ready yeah. and go. All right, I'm Mr. Geppert, and I'm here to show you how to set the Z and X references on a Haas SL20 lathe. We are using inch and a half cold rolled steel stock. I've gone to my MDI screen and programmed in a speed of uh, 1000 RPM. I hit cycle start. I go to current commands and I'm going 998. So I, I'm getting my program speed. That's what 1000 RPMs about looks like. So the way I do it is I take a cut on the face first. I, I clean up my face cut and then I, I'll set a positional zero on the operator page. This Z will be flashing and I'll set it to zero by pushing origin. Then I'll go to, back to my, um, uh, my offset page and I will set the tool length offset on this page right here under tool geometry. Okay? That's after you touch I, on. Yeah. Alright, now I'm going to set it, I'm in handle jog 10 thousandths increments and I'm bringing my tool across. Now I'm coming down in X. It's a little bit close to the face now. Come on, you all ought to be watching this. If you get as close as you can. All right. So now I go to 1,000 increments until I hear a little chip right there. Okay. Now back up and show me the screen. I'm on the position page, and here's what it looks like when it's all this way. I hit cursor down, and it says position operator. I hit origin, and I'm zero. I've saved it on this position page. Then the next thing I want to do is get clear in X and take a facing cut till it cleans up. So I'm going to take, a, let's say, 15 thousandths in Z. Mind the decimal point. 15 thousandths and origin it. Take a, like an incremental zero. That's where I was last time. And now this is where I am now and I am going to cut across this face by hand. Okay. Now I see that it just barely crossed the center line. It looks to me like it. the tool is on center. That's how we get a confirmation that our tool is on center. And I have not moved Z. That's why I set a zero here to make sure I don't mess up and move my Z and lose my reference. Okay, now I can go to my offset page and I know that's tool number one. I cursor over to the Z and I hit Z face measure. Okay, and now the number is negative 14.816 and on my position page Z is at zero. So just to show you what that number actually means, I'm gonna go back to zero by, by, by hitting zero return X home, Z, home. All right, read me that number. 14.8168. That was 14, so that's the distance from that face to machine zero going back in a positive direction. On my offset, guess what? Negative 14.8168. So that shows you that that's not how much distance it is from zero to that face. Now I'm going to cut a little diameter. And I'm going to do a similar trick that I did with, the, with using this, but this time it's going to be an X. And I know I'm going to go back about negative 250 in Z because I want about a quarter inch to measure. I come down. I move over. As I get closer, I change to a smaller increment. Just barely chirp. Come up here and look at the little touch that I took. Right there is I'm going to set my X0 with origin. Okay. Now I'm going to leave it, leave the X where I had it and move it back in Z. Then I'm going to come up negative ten thousandths. Mind the decimal point. It's easy to get confused. Ten thousandths is all I want to take because that's what my finish cuts are at. So I set my references at the same depth of cut as my finish cuts. And I don't get any tool pressure problems that can cause me to go undersize. So 
that becomes the origin. I go back to Z, put it on 1,000 increments. And it looks to me like it still hasn't really cleaned up. So I go by negative 250. I'm going to take another 10 because I just want to make sure that it's all cleaned up. All right, origin, Z, go. All right, my mic's over there. Can you give me my one to, one to, one, one to twos? All right, now you got to be very careful that you don't lose this zero and that you don't move X and that you get real far away so you can get in here and make a nice measurement without cutting yourself. So I'm stopped, I'm in handle jog mode, and now I'm going to mic my diameter. Clean my tools, I treat them nicely, I do not lay them on top of other tools. My measuring tools are how I make my living. So, I take a nice mic reading here. It doesn't really have to be all that terribly close. But I saw where it was. It was on seven. This is going to be 1.482. 1.482. I took two ten thousandths cuts. That sounds right, right? Mm -hmm. That sounds like a, a, a reasonable number. 1.482. Now I go to the offset page. I cursor over to X. And you see that number there. Now I'm going to... Uh, zero this first by just putting zero F1 and then I'm just going to push X diameter measure negative 8.845 and now I'm going to enter that diameter down here flashing in the corner I measured 1.482 I like to say my measurements out loud like that 1.482 and then I say is that 1.482 yes and now I'm going to hit right enter over here in this corner and that number is going to change to a bigger number. Negative 10.3270. Okay, what does that mean? Well, that's the distance from X at home at machine zero to the axial center line of this machine. So it now knows where the, that diameter is. Okay, if I program G54 X 1.482, it's going to come right back to this diameter. And that's another thing I like to do to be sure that I set my references right. You guys have all set a reference on the milling machines incorrectly, probably. You made a hundred thousandths error, you twenty-five thousandths error, you got confused, and you, dil you drilled too deep or something like that. That same kind of thing can happen here on the lathe. So I'm going to go to zero return, uh, X home, Z home, MDI, and I'm going to erase this program and put in T101, enter. G54, which will get us to our G54 page that we can control our faces with. That's where we're going to get our parts to, the, the overall length that we want. Okay, G54, G00, rapid, Z0.1, end of block, enter. Oh, darn it. I have to put this right here. End of block, insert. And I come down to the end. Now, the next one is going to be X 1.6. Insert. Okay. Look at the code there. Bring up tool 1. Wrap it at, to, to G54 Z0.1. 100 thousandths off the face. Then come down to X 1.6 which is a hundred thousandths off the diameter that I cut. And I'll, and, I'll, and I'll be able to eyeball whether it came out right. Now, bring the camera here. You gotta understand the difference between G54 on the lathe and on the mill, okay? We, on the mill, you must tell it where X and Y zero are so it knows where to go with X and Y zero. On the lathe, strictly speaking, G54 is not necessary. We could go to this G54 offset page and put nothing in there. The reason it's going to come out right and, and it's going to go where we want to is because we told it how far away from the zeros it was here. It doesn't need any more information than that for tool number one to know where to go. 
So we'll, we're not going to put anything in X and Z unless we want to run out in space or unless we want to cut back into the part a little bit more like we're going to do when we um, do our facing. All right, so MDI. All right, reset this, that, and, then, and now I'm going to put it in single block, 50% rapid, tool one is up. I should have had it in single block. All right, tool one is up. Now I'm going to move it down to 5% when I, when I make my move down because then I can, I can make sure I don't crash into my part. And I'll bump, 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 and there it stops. Okay, bring the camera up. I, I like to take my uh, six inch scale, which everybody here should have, and that looks like it's a little bit off, a hundred thousandths bigger than that, and that's a hundred thousandths off of the face. So I did my work correctly. You can stop it now. <laughs>